Guys, welcome back for another instalment of Technique Tuesday. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you subscribe to our channel, follow our Technique Tuesday playlist, especially with everything that's going on, you might be um, a bit more housebound than you normally are, so make sure you're still exercising, make sure you're still practicing your martial arts techniques, and I hope that these tutorials and the workout Wednesdays that we do, I hope that they are helping you keep fit and healthy and active. So we're gonna work a back fist today, which is traditionally used in sport karate, and we're gonna adapt that and work a spinning back fist, which was in the full contact kickboxing world. So let's get straight on with that, practice that in the air, and then we'll put together a couple of combinations. Okay guys, so for the back fist, we're going to change from this traditional boxing stance that we work for a lot of techniques. So rather than being in a boxing stance with both feet facing forward, guard tight, elbows in, we want to be sideways, okay? So I want to try and hide my back shoulder from you. So I still have a nice high guard here, and I'm nice and sideways, and with this back fist, we're nice and light on our toes, and we point our elbow at the target. So we point our elbow, we line up, we extend with the back, and of course we strike with the back of our fist, hence the name, and we strike, extend, and then this comes all the way back. Again, there's a couple of variations of this. So the back fist comes from the guard, we lean forward, strike, and back. There's also something we work called a pocket back fist, and your hand would come from here, traditionally where um, your pocket is, and the idea with that is if you're sparring or you're trying to land this on a person, when it comes from your guard, this is in their line of sight all the way, okay? When it comes from here, it doesn't hit their line of sight until there, when it's already there. Obviously, a massive negative of that is you don't have your guard up, so you're not very protected, your hand is down here, but a, a lot of sport karate points fighting is, um, is fought like that. They have quite low guards, they're moving around all the time, their hand can be quite low, but traditionally, from our stance, nice and sideways, guard up, point the elbow, extend and strike with the back of your fist, and then bring it straight back, okay? The second one we're going to work is the spinning back fist, and you will work that from a boxing stance. So from your boxing stance, just like a turning side kick, we would step, and we would turn and look, and we would point the elbow and snap through with the back fist. The, the technique is very strong and it's actually banned from a lot of tournaments, a lot of organisational uh, organisations rule sets because this here with lots of momentum is a very strong technique, especially if you miss with the, the back fist and you end up striking with the forearm, um, it's, it's a very dangerous technique, okay? So when we work this in combinations, it's so we know and we learn the technique, but we really break it down, so it's step, turn and look and we snap still on the back fist rather than pulling all the way through. If you miss your target as well, you miss your opponent, when you pull all the way through, you can lock your shoulder, you can jar your elbow. So we need to make sure that we fully get to that target. So we go step, turn and look, step and snap on that back fist and it comes back, okay? Let's put those two techniques into some combinations. Okay guys, so the first combination using that lead back fist from a sport karate stance is going to be lead back fist, lead roundhouse kick. So pretty basic, okay? But both of these techniques, we move away from the traditional boxing stance that a lot of combinations work. We're into that sideways sport karate stance that we've already uh, worked in the in the air video, okay? So now I'm with Mr. Watkinson. I'm going to hit the pads this time and show you these two combinations. So I'm fully sideways. I'm just going to swap places so you saw, um, they can see me when I'm talking to the camera. So I'm nice and sideways here. My back hand is tight. My front hand is up. And from here again, I lean forward. I point my elbow at the target and I extend and strike with the back of my fist, my knuckles, and then this comes back, okay? So again, sideways. I'm not stepping fully in on this. My feet stay pretty still, but I lean. So I go lean, okay? And then this comes back. So a nice big reach, okay? Try not to just stand still and strike. Try not to pull like this, okay? I'm right on my side, and I lean and fully extend. What this does is it keeps myself, my body, which is my opponent's target, further away from them, okay? So I'm reaching, so if um, Sam jabs at the same time here, 
and he, he would need to really step in to be able to get it, okay? So if he's got quite a short jab, he won't reach. If I move in at the same time, I'm also in his range, okay? So we're gonna add the lead body roundhouse kick on the end. So I'm gonna lean forward, back fist, and then I lean out, drop all my weight onto my back foot. The back hand stays high, pivot the back foot, so point your toes in the opposite direction, and then from here, we snap with the lead roundhouse kick, okay? Making sure we have lots of chamber, and that means it all comes from your knee, we're not swinging our hip across, okay? So again, from here sideways, lean forward, back fist, lean back out, drop all my weight onto the back foot, lift and snap with the roundhouse kick. So from here, with a little bit more speed, back fist, round kick, okay? We'll go a little bit higher on the kick now. So again, sideways, one, two, and lift with the lead roundhouse kick. You can, of course, work that in both stances, but that's your sport karate combination. Now we're going to do a kickboxing combination. Okay, guys, so the uh, kickboxing combination that we're gonna work with the back fist, the spinning back fist, which we've practiced in the air. If you train at X martial arts schools, this is actually off our current blue belt syllabus, okay? So we're gonna start with that lead roundhouse kick. We're gonna drop in with a cross, a lead hook, and that hook is gonna pull us round with the spin back fist, okay? So I'm gonna work it through with Mr. Watkinson here. So again, I know I'm starting with the roundhouse kick. So even though it's a kickboxing combination, I'm not gonna start in the boxing stance. I'm gonna start in that kicking stance. So backhand tight, I'm going to land my roundhouse kick though. So if I were just in a kicking stance, I would come roundhouse kick and then drop back down into the kicking stance. I know I'm gonna cross punch on the end. So I'm gonna go roundhouse kick and then drop it into a boxing stance so I'm already there for the turn on my cross. So here it goes, round kick, drop, and then at the same time, I've got, so, so I cut a step out, okay? So I don't want to go kick, drop, step, turn, or kick, drop, and then turn from here, and then only rotate with the top half of my body. I'm gonna land it over so I'm in that, that short lunge position so I can rotate on the cross. So from here it goes lead round kick, drop over, cross, and as this cross punch pulls back to my, um, my chin, my shoulder, this elbow lifts up and I rotate with a hook punch. So they're the first three techniques. So from here, round kick, cross, hook, okay? If I was stopping there, I would hook and pull back, but because I know I'm doing the spinning back fist, I'm gonna go hook and I'm gonna step at the same time, turn and look, and I'm gonna strike with a spin back fist. And look how the pad person, Sam, took a step back to make sure we didn't whack him, okay? So from here, one more time, round kick, cross, hook, step, and have a good look before you snap out with that spinning back fist, okay? Guys, thank you very much for joining us for Technique Tuesday. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and we look forward to seeing you next week.